Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to start off with this screen for this video. Because after opening over a thousand four hour crystals to get through Eternity of Pain exploration, of which I've heard from many of you who've said, you had to open that many? You suck. And my response is, so what's your point? Um, I still had a ton of potions and especially energy reveals left over. So I chose to, to take those potions and energy refills and explore Thronebreaker in the first week that the content was out. Kind of crazy. But, speaking of crazy, I had to use, you're about to see, two team revives. These two team revives because of two things. A node, yes, a node, and a defender. And out of all the paths of the new Thronebreaker difficulty that I found to be the most dumb and tedious, it wasn't the ants go marching or keeps on ticking. Nope. It was chapter two, quest one, small time. Now, the title of this video is going to be something to the effect of don't make the, some, the same dumb mistake that I made. And actually, it's not chapter one that I'm talking about. It's chapter two. There we go. Big trouble. You can tell I'm on three hours of sleep, right? This node right here cost me, has cost me six, 60 energy. 60 energy. Because I've done it twice on two different difficulties. And actually, it might even be a little bit more than 60 energy. But um, the first thing that I'm going to do from now on is just go down to node 9 and then immediately go to path A. Because I've had to redo this path twice. Because I've been 98%, 98% done with the map. And I realized that I already did path A. That is tricky and dumb and has infuriated me to the point that I wanted to throw my freaking phone. But that actually is a moment that's the, the runner-up to most angry Prof Hoff you'll see this weekend. Because in this same chapter, the last path that I actually had to complete, I went to the Gambit Path, Path A, and I got to Absorbing Man. Now, I fought him like everybody else last month, and I struggled with him. I used Human Torch and Void, and that did the trick. But this is the tech path. I didn't have Human Torch or Void with me. I had Hulkbuster, Warlock, and Omega Sentinel, along with the Restoration Kit Synergy of Nick Fury and Deadpool X-Force. So you gotta use what you got. Well, I made the mistake of throwing in Hulkbuster first, and this guy was down to like 30% health. He regened so much health and gained so much power. And I got to tell you, this also acted like an all or nothing node. Where he would not throw his special one or special two, which I've done a pretty good job of learning to save his life. But the second, the millisecond, he got to a special three, dead. Immediately woke up, immediately activated. He was sleeping like a wild Snorlax. So, the tech champion that saved me on him was Omega Cheeks because I was able to turn on her ability to prevent uh, heal block. And, uh, or I guess, turn on heal block to prevent healing is probably a better way to say that. And I just constantly kept finishing combos with mediums, but I still got knocked out once. So, this one note. I had used zero revives on any path. And then, because of that one node, in which maybe next time I'm just going to say screw it and use Human Torch, I used not one but two team revives. I still have one left. But, that's the reality of my plight. That's what happened today. And I got to tell you, I was being really triggered. 
I wasted energy on that stupid node in two different difficulties. I did it once and, went, and just chalked it up to being dumb. And then when I did it again, especially on Thronebreaker difficulty, and you have to do a whole path over on Thronebreaker difficulty, it's, it's infuriating. But as my friends and I like to say, it takes you what it takes you. Got that time taker, new title. And I still didn't have to use any units, so there's that. But don't make the same mistake I did. It'll cost you 60 energy and, from, from my case, a little, little bit of the little bit of hair that I have left.